thank you. That is the question I was waiting for. I did not know this same law until I was 37 years old. Now, when I found out these stages, I woke myself up. Now look, I don't have too many years. Now, when I also had too many years, I also found out from God's word, what are the exception clause? Because in business, there's always exception, variations. Do they have variations in the Bible? Yes, they do. In the book of, um, uh, in the book of Joshua, Caleb and Joshua were 80 years old. And Caleb said, we are still as strong as when I was 40. I can still take over this mountain. The ingredient you need is you need vision. Vision must be something that will burn you. A man with a vision is a madman until the vision comes to pass. You may not be able to run as before, so you may need dep deputies, lieutenants, to work with you. My plan was to retire at 45. I did 44. I only did nine years of aggression, day and night. I studied in the morning, studied in the afternoon. If you eat to be healthy 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the afternoon, 20 minutes at night, you can as well feed your mind 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the afternoon, 20 minutes in the night to do yourself. So I increased it to one hour in the morning, one hour at night. I blast this brain. I put it down. I ask myself, I put a mind map on the wall. Where do I want to go? What do I want to do from here? So that I'm able to hit my target. I deputize. And to also support your question, where the gentleman asked me there, is that we also need to know which time we are in and as Christians we must be we must understand now our elders our fathers here was in the baby bloomer generation now in his own time communication was done via TV and letter now but in the inst uh, in the I gen or the Z generation which is the predominant one now they don't know how people like us survive without internet. Their life is based on imagery. That is why it, everything has to go digital. If you tell me, uh, if I tell you to go and study, it is easier for you to study from an iPad or study from a, an, from a phone than to go and read a magazine or anything. But you have to pay that price. Now you have a new generation which is called the Alpha Generation that is coming up. So once you understand this generation and what they need to do, you need to start applying. All the People that work under me are junior to me. I find it hard to put them in meetings, so I had to get Zoom meeting. So anywhere you are, you can communicate on that meeting. So if you if you if you do like that, look for somebody that is a mentor and then ask the person those kind of strategic questions. I came here because my brother said I must come here, and I am so hungry because I hate to see young men and young women poor. I pour down my life and I need you, if you have the remaining four years, deal with yourself in the morning and in the night. And it's particular time, 4 to 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Those are very critical times where you can tamper with the way you think. Because everything that you hear goes to your conscious mind and then it settles in your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind generates your habits. Your habit generates your actions. Your actions generate your results. If your results are bad, check your actions. If your actions are not the best, check your habits. If your habits are not, check what you are feeding yourself. So if you want to change your results, change what enters into you. So we take those two more questions. My name is Ifoma. Please, my contribution is that among us, there are some cases that are critical. Like, for instance, I'm a widow. I don't have a job. My children are not in school. I don't have money to then I was crying at the back of the church. He said, Do you want to give me 5000 to send to my children? And my mom is sick, she can't work, she has been calling me, come home and see me, and I don't have anything. So I want my kids to be treated. I don't know where to start. Let's go. Are you a member of this church? Yes, sir. How long have you been in this church? Which department are you in? They brought me from outreach. From outreach. So are you serving in any department? I do go for our Okay. Do you have your team members here? Mr. Folabi. Where, where is Mr. Folabi? Pastor Folabi. Folabi. Who is the head of the department? Pastor Shola. Shola, where are you? They've okay. For They've gone for outreach. Eh? Do you know her? Okay. I know our leaders. Okay. 
So the problem there is that, first of all, your case will not be a problem if you are somebody that is visible because your relationships matter. Now, when you come here and you put this as an exceptional case like this, any of us can step in to help you and say, okay, sort down. But in one month's time, what happens? In one month's time, will you be ready? You have said in front of me that you need help. Okay, I'll give you help. I'll make 100000 to you. Will that solve? No, please, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, please. I'll make 100000 to you. Will that solve your problem today? What about tomorrow? What about tomorrow? Now, this is where I want you to become responsible to yourself. Give me 2 Kings chapter 4. 2 Kings chapter 4. Please, 2 Kings chapter 4. Because anything that we do, we must go back to the word of God. Give me 2 Kings chapter 4. Now, there cried a widow, a certain woman of the wives of the prophet Elijah, saying that my husband servant did the Lord, and the creditors have come to take my two sons. Next, next slide. And Elisha said unto her, what shall I do for you? Sir, what do you have in the house? Elisha never gave her one naira. What I'm doing is not Bible. I'm giving you money. It's not Bible. Next slide. The Bible says, I said, he said, go borrow the vessels from all thy neighbors. Empty vessels. Borrow not a few. Next verse. It says, and when thou art coming, thou shalt shut the door. That means go and create businesses. Create strategies there. Shut your song. Put, shut the door. Create strategies and pour it out. Then when thou are set and it's full. Next verse, please. So I show you. Shut the door. Open unto her, which was brought the vessel. Next verse. Next verse. And when it come to pass, and when all the vessels, it said, bring ye yet another vessel. And there was no more vessel. And it said, next verse. And he came to the man of God again. And he said, that, and the man told her, go and sell. He never gave her one naira. He told her the strategy. Gram, what do you have in your house? What talent do you have? Create your products. And then he came back and said, go and sell. Me giving you 100,000 naira is to solve the immediate. Now, but I'm telling you to create your own system. What do you have in your house? And go and sell. That's scripture. I'm not the one that wrote it. So that's why I say success is not emotional. When you come and you cry and cry and cry, that our pastor died here. Pastor, no, 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 no. Let's look at the Bible. Um, in a situation where you have an idea, yes, ma'am. You have everything. You've gone through the study, and um, you are you are prepared yes. for finances. Okay, now two things. Uh, you remember what I said in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26? Open it there. Genesis 1 26. Give me the amplified version. The Bible says, And God said, Let us make man. God had a problem. He didn't do it alone, He called partners. You need to identify partners that can work with you. It's your responsibility. It's your responsibility. You need to decide. And then another thing you need to do is to compartmentalize issues. What do you want to do? What can you do without money? Now, I was working, when I started my company, Protection Plus Services, I started it, I first out, I said, okay, I needed an office. So I decided to co-locate with somebody. I was paying the person 80,000 naira a month. I didn't have the business, but I thought maybe because I needed an office to start the business. I didn't need an office. So, but I was paying 80,000 naira. I did not ask the man that how much was the rent. The rent was 600,000 naira. I didn't ask him. So that means if 600,000 naira is the rent he pays per, per year, that means a month is only 50,000 naira. He had two staff. He was paying them 10,000 10, naira. Add that together, that's 70,000 naira. Nepal bill, 5,000 naira. Then money for fuel, 5,000 naira. So I was paying the whole co company. And I didn't understand money until you understand the money of your business. You have not started. So hold on, madam, please. Let me, I know what you are, where you are going to. So what did I do? I now said, OK, I will not bear that cost. So not bearing that cost, I had a staff. I thought I needed a secretary. So I was paying her 40,000 naira. I was paying 80,000, I was paying 40,000. I thought I needed a secretary. I didn't need a secretary. I closed down that office. I went to my house. I told my wife, can I start my company here? She said, yes. So we, we, I initiated what they call from bedroom to boardroom. My bed was on the floor here. My boardroom was just two steps away. She allowed me put a table there. I put my vision board. My target was 100 million. I put it there. I put it everywhere. So my target determined who I go to talk to. Now, when I put my target, I didn't have money, but I had friends. I looked for friends. Oh, but how can you connect me to this? How do you connect me to this? And someone said I can do my time security to broker. So I brokered a deal, and my commission was 2.25 million naira. I did not need finance. I needed contacts. But what I would do eh, is that, sir. Yes. You see, I'll, I'll do something for, with you, sir. You give me 10 people in this church. Eh? I'll tie them to a project. I have a course which I call Penetrating Your Market. Eh? The value of that course is 1.05 million naira, which I do for certain high net worth people. But I'll do it for free for 10 serious people in this church. Then let's see if they will not learn certain things and succeed with themselves. So. 
because I'm going to beat their head to succeed 30 days and they do the assignment. Do we agree? Madam, I would like her to be there because excuses, excuses are always the tools of the incompetent. They that use them are not wise. If you want, the only way to get out of trouble is to enter the trouble. How can you tell me you're a woman, you can't make money? You need to get hungry. It is because there is free food. Free food is the enemy of Africa. Because somebody, you have an opportunity to eat. If you did not have any food this afternoon, you'll find that money. You'll find that opportunity. And I'm not being sentimental here. I've talked to CEO. I'm not pastor anymore. I'm CEO now. I'm CEO. 